think we've all seen the pictures and videos of Pi showing a local IP on a screen like what you just saw. The thing is, if you're running your Pi headless like a lot of us are, then you're going to have to find the IP before you can set it up with SSH. And this video explores the alternative to that by providing you a way of setting up your Pi's automatically and unattended. So I want to first show you how this works in practice once everything is configured, and then we can take a look at changing it for your needs afterwards. What I have here is an SD card with the Raspberry Pi operating system flashed onto it. To set it up, all I need to do is open the boot section, and here I can find a file called cmdline.txt. So I'll open this up, and we'll take in it and everything after it, and just delete it. See, we're going to replace it with this line. All the files and the configurations and all of this stuff can be found on my GitHub in the description. A quick disclaimer. I did not create this project all by myself. I modified a project I found by a guy named Jim Danner. I couldn't get his project to work out of the box, so I changed the scripts and made it fit my needs. You can check out his original project in the description below. So I'll copy this line and I'll just paste it in here and I'll delete the spaces after it and I'm going to save it and close it. Then I'm going to take all the files from GitHub, I'm going to copy them and just drop them right into the boot section. Then we'll eject the SD card and that's it. It's going to connect to my Wi-Fi, it's going to enable SSH, enable I2C, install the different packages I've specified and launch a Python script at boot that displays the stats on my screen. And last but not least, it's going to upload the file with a host name and IP to a local file share I have. Now our Pi is done configuring. I know this is the case because it's displaying the stats on the screen, which it won't do until it's done with all the configurations. If your Pi doesn't have a screen, I'd recommend just letting it sit and do its thing for a while. In my case, with a Pi 4, it took about 4 minutes, but obviously it depends on the different configurations you've made and the version of the Pi you're using. If you're using an older Pi or Pi Zero, it's obviously going to take a lot longer. Alternatively, if you have a different Pi or a server running Godify, you can have it send a notification to your phone once it's done configuring. If that's something you're interested in, check out my video on Godify. My original idea behind this project was to have an easy way of finding the local IP address of your Pi but obviously you can do a lot more with it. The whole thing that makes this project work is the line we put into the cmd line.txt, as that's what makes sure that our unintended script runs at the very first boot. The unintended script then makes sure that on the next boot, there's a script that launches which configures everything. After downloading the files from GitHub, the simplest configuration we can do is within the one time script config file. So we'll open this up with VS Code and open the config file up. Here you can input your SSID and your Wi-Fi password. You can also change things like the SSH setting to make sure it enables or disables it depending on what you want to do. Here you can also set things like localization. Now the second configuration we could do would be to change the packages that will be installed. All of these will be installed by apt, so you just want to make sure that it's one package per line. If you just want a very basic configuration with these things enabled, then you're all set by this point. If you want to configure things or change some of these things or remove them entirely, keep watching. Now everything inside the payload folder will be copied from its location to the corresponding path on your Pi. So you can just add whatever you want to. For example, everything within the home and Pi folder will be copied to the home and Pi folder on the Raspberry Pi. What's included is two service files. One for the Python script that enables the stats and one for the one-time script. The one-time script is this batch script right here. And it's where all of the fun stuff happens. This is where all of the configurations are done. So if you want to disable the Python stat script, this is where you would out outcomment it. You can also disable I squared C here. One is a disable and zero is enable. You can also add your own custom elements and script here if that's what you need. So now you can set up your Raspberry Pis automatically. Please feel free to leave a comment down below and share with me what you're going to use this for or if you're having any troubles. I know for sure that I'm going to use this for a lot of generic installations in the future.